Palestine for the latest in the world of sports, and my name is Abigail Senat Susu. We're just 33 days to kickstart the 2018 edition of the African Women Championship. A CAF inspection team has been in Ghana checking the final phase of our preparations ahead of next month's competition. Recent videos and pictures of the Accra Sports Stadium shows tremendous progress with the facility now 95% ready for the tournament. The, uh, the Cape Coast Stadium is also in some good shape and Benjamin Willie Graham is a member of the Accra Venue Local Organizing Committee and according to him, the inspection team is pleased with what they have seen so far. Well, I think that um, they made one, uh, some of the patients, um, they spoke to the technical teams or the individuals who are involved in terms of fixing those areas. Um, if there were second opinions to them, they made it available. Um, I, I do remember one of the areas they talked about was the pitch itself, which is being worked on by Greenland Technology. And they were expecting that at least uh, the role of the pitch uh, could have been done much earlier. But uh, Frank Boyan was able to explain to them that he was going to do the rolling today and that the reason he had not done it because of the timeline being given by the contractor working on some aspects of the stadium and so basically he had to still go around, around it um uh, tony balfour was, was there um uh, mr uh, amadu uh, was around um the um, technical director of the ministry of youth and sports of those ones that was equally around and there was also an opportunity for um, a lot of us you know to also go around with them and then uh, get to understand exactly where the, the problems were, but they were able to explain things to them better. And um, the Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports, uh, Honorable uh, Ferro Kujoto, was equally around to also mm. uh, explain one or two issues to them. So I don't think really it had any um, you know, issues in terms of um, whether the work had been delayed, but at least whatever they expected to be done, uh, Frank Wine was able to also explain things to them together with their contacts as well. Mm. So with the Confederation of African Football and AFCON 2019 qualifiers currently is ongoing and we would like to go through some results already. Some games have already started the second half and um, as we speak now, Madagascar has been able to put one past um, Equatorial Guinea, Sudan and Senegal will play later. But it's 43 minutes between Comoros and Morocco who are leading at home. And Malawi will play Cameroon that, that also is currently ongoing and they've done 15 minutes. And in other games, Burundi will play Mali. South Sudan will take on Gabon later today. Benin will also play Algeria. And Gambia will play Togo. Seychelles will play South Africa, whereas Libya take on Nigeria. Zimbabwe also play DR Congo, Liberia will play the Congo, and Rwanda will host Guinea. Central African Republic will also play the Ivory Coast, while Botswana will play Burkina Faso. Mauritania take on Angola, and Eswatini play Egypt later in Group J. Away from football and the yet-to-be-found corporate of the violence at the Bukum Boxing Arena Hall during last Saturday's WBO Africa title fight have loads of trouble awaiting them. According to the president of the Ghana Boxing Authority, lawyer Peter Zwenis, the, um, the perpetrators will be punished accordingly. He revealed what his outfit has done so far in resolving the matter. We have asked for video footages of uh, recordings of what transpired on the night in question, and we are going to work together with the managers of the Emporium and the police to ensure that sanity is brought back. We intend to beef up security because there are subsequent events coming up. The unfortunate thing is that um, I spoke to the promoters for the fight, and it appears they asked for 10 policemen to be present at the event, but they got far less than that. We, for our part, are going to ensure that if any of our licensees are possibly identified as having misbehaved either in the ring or outside the ring within the premises, we will have to apply the rules and sanction them accordingly. At the same time, to serve as a deterrent to third parties, that is people who come to tournaments and think that in the name of boxing they can come and misbehave, we are collaborating with the police so that those who can be positively identified will be picked up and possibly prosecuted. There's more on sports today with Nathaniel Lato. My name is Abigail Senasusu.